Oh, I am sorry I am late, honey. It has been a crazy day. Oh, I've been this time. So, I finished my project for work, which is great. That means we'll have some money this Christmas. So, we're no longer on a limited budget? Oh, no, we're still on it, but at least now we have a little bit of wriggle room. But then I got a call from back home. Oh, here, Grandad had an accident. He's in the hospital. But he, he's, he's gonna be okay. Okay, well, that's good. So that's even better? We're going to the U.S. of A for Christmas! <laughs> I can't believe you, Gloria. We're spending the holidays with your American family and you're acting like I grounded you for Christmas break. I'm sorry, but I'm not chuffed about spending time with people I don't even remember. Apart from Grandad, I remember him. He was scary. I don't think he likes me. Well, of course he likes you. He can just be kind of grumpy sometimes. Well, what if Dad turns up whilst we're in America? He won't. He's not coming back to London for Christmas. You said might. Well, he's not, okay? It's definite. He's spending more time in Germany. Well, why didn't he tell me? Because he doesn't like to be the bearer of bad news. That always falls on me. <sighs> well, you could finish these and send them to him, though. I don't even know why I made those stupid drawings. It's not like I believe in Santa anymore. Oh, honey, come here, come here. Oh. It looks a lot like Christmas to me. What? I'm, I'm making a video of a trip. I want to send it to Dad. Oh, that is a great idea, honey. Make sure you get in your granddad's shop. I used to spend so much time there. Oh, and that is where my first boyfriend, Daddy Baker, asked me out. You can get back to me on that. Mm. Christmas from here. Maybe just because I have you near. And though there's not a spot of snow. Not a jot of holly or mistletoe There's a kind of magic I can clearly see And it looks a lot like Christmas to me And who's this? I don't recognize you, Gloria. You've grown so much. <laughs> Your cousins were so excited when they heard you were coming. They should be home any minute. <laughs> Where can I put this? Upstairs, honey. Oh, she is so cute. Holy terror. He's been sleeping a lot since he got back from the hospital. I have been trying to get him to eat something, but he just yells at me. Oh, that sounds like Dad. <sighs> you would not believe the state of this house when we got here. It was... <sighs> we had to go nuclear. Hey, Claire! Hi! Oh, hi! You got something. Hey, look at you. Hey! Hello, Claire. Hi, Jerry. <clears throat> nice move. Oh, don't you start. Just because Dad mumbled something about a reindeer causing his accident. I'm not gonna apologize for putting up that display. Gloria, come and say hi. Hey, Gloria. Hi. How's jolly old England, Gloria? <laughs> come on, jump in, be quick. It's cold. Oh, I know. Mm. There you go. Oh, yeah. Grandad called me Bet when I went into his room earlier. What are you doing in Grandad's room? Well, I didn't know which room was which. But why would Grandad call me Grandma? I just don't think he's feeling himself right now, honey. Is that why there's no Christmas decorations? No. That's because my mom always did the decorations and... 
Since she's been gone, I don't think he's been feeling very Christmassy. That's sad. Yeah. Wait, though, I think I have, I remember. Okay, why is it so cold in here? Because Dad likes it cold, especially at night times. We used to call this place the igloo growing up. See why you call it the igloo? I feel like an ice block. Here you go. Hmm. I love you, honey. I love you more. Is that possible? Good night. It is possible. Good night. Good night. Home, Gerald. He needs to stay in his home. All right, well, Sue, you gonna be here? It's true, and you know it, Claire. You've been home, what, twice in 10 years? You moved to England, you wiped your hands off this family. Gerald, come on, that's enough. Claire just got here. All I said was I think it's time that Dad moved to the retirement village, and she jumps all over me. <laughs> like she's worried about Dad all of a sudden? Of course I'm worried about Dad. That is really offensive. We've been here, Claire. Come in from California every year. We've seen how Dad slipped. He lives in squalor. He forgets to take his medication. So your first thought was to send him off to a retirement village? He would hate that. Did Erica tell you about all the unpaid bills we found when we got here? They were going to turn off the gas, the electricity? Imagine if we hadn't been here to sort that out. Dad would have frozen to death. I'm telling you, he's not all there. Look, let's just see how the week goes with Dad. Before we leave, if, if we think it's necessary, we, we can discuss getting some kind of help for him. See? I like Erica's plan way better. Fine. But if one more thing happens with Dad, just one, he's off to the retirement home. End of discussion. That's a spirit, Jerry. Did you hear something on the roof? What are you doing here? Reindeer don't live around here. I ran off the road because of you. I got a concussion, you know. Feels like there's a jackhammer inside my head. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I'm talking to you, and I assume that you do, because you do these other things. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's a day doing? She's talking back to me. Was that a reindeer? 